それじゃあ私はそろそろ生徒会の方へ行くけどくれぐれも私のいないところで危険なことはしちゃダメよ約束してくれるわね Alright, so after reviewing that、uh, the, the murder case, there's still, still a lot of open questions. So I guess we'll learn about them later. I'll try to investigate later. It had been a while since Kurusu had glared at me like that. Now that the Empress was back, she was scary. Oh, yeah, that's her nickname. The Empress. Ah, so, so. So, 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 She's living up to the name Empress or anything, but I guess you know, because we're from the perspective of Takuru, I guess she's a lot more forgiving, I feel like, to, to us as the character. Because I imagine maybe if she was talking to you know, other people, she's much more, much more of a leader type, you know? She has a bias for, for Takuru, probably. Akurizu got in close and whispered to me. Mm -hmm. what, was it? What, do you, what do you mean? No, no. Is this an invitation? Is this a date? Okay. Oh, so she was going to be like, I'm just thinking of how much of a brocon she is. Yeah, but. もし帰ってこなかったらこっちから連れに行くからねそれじゃあちょっとま Before I could say anything she ran off、uh, she ran off to the student council room 生徒会長のくせに廊下を走っちゃダメだろ<笑> Is that you worry about? 副部長なんだってあいや別にこっちの話だよ She wanted me to go back to the dorm. What should I do? There's no real need to listen to her, but knowing Kurusu, she might really come barging into my RV. It seems like everyone does that. Ne you never lock the door. Is the lock broken? So, this is not a good thing. We had really learned anything today. We had no proof, just a bunch of guests. Now, Ah, so Arimura shot down his idea. What? 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 だったら私もそうしてあげますけど。あれだから俺はそういう趣味やねってのいやしろと同じこと言うな。あのだ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ
is mean to us because she doesn't like egomaniacs, you know, whatever. Despite the fact that she's also egomaniac, I think. Again, we saw that D sword. We have no proof that she has those powers, but oh, well, I mean, she knows about egomaniacs. Also, she can see the sword, so I assume she's also a psychic. But again, she just really hates, you know, other people with those powers. I guess huh? for some reason. Well, that was a, was a surprise. Did she really hate us that much? What do we do? What do we do? Alamuro continued on in the same chipper tone a girl might use to discuss after school plans with a friend. Hmm, well, she's talking to Ito, so I guess. I guess Kurosato is just that way against everyone? I don't know. Even humans? She did say she's. Well. Then who does she see as human? I don't know. This is what I'm wondering. Because she said, like, she doesn't see, like, people like Ito as human, but what about, like, anyone else? And, like, she just says no one as human. Oh. After meeting in the after the meeting in the newspaper club ended, I bought a mountain view at the vending machine in the cafeteria and sat down on a nearby bench. I had been thinking so much that I was exhausted. I opened the plastic bottle and swallowed down the bubbling carbonation inside. You know, drinking too much soda is bad for you. That's how you get diabetes. As it turns out, there's a lot of sugar in like even just one bottle. I mean, I used to drink a lot of soda as well, you know, when I was younger. But now, but then I learned that actually that's bad, you know. Sugar, sugar, too much sugar anyway is bad. Especially when it comes from like, you know, soda. Ito uh, bought a can of black coffee and sat down on the bench with me. けど、さっきはびっくりしたな。うん。お前の能力だよ。ま、僕自身もまだ驚いてるけどな。とにかく感心したっていうか、普通にかっこよかったぜ。やめろって男に言われても一つも嬉しくない。That's something the heroine says the male lead in a romantic comedy. Hmm. That's the bit on the nose. And then the hero falls in love, maybe. Where's the BL route? A series of faces flitted through my mind. Serika with her dopey laugh. The ever angry Kurusu. Kazuki playing ESO2. And Adamu with her acid tongue. Literally. Just acid damage. But I couldn't imagine starting a romance with any of them. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, actually, I don't know. I, I mean, oh well, yeah, because uh, I'm thinking like, you know, is there like different routes for every girl in this game? It probably is. I'm trying to think like that happened in Steins Gate. I think, I think it did. In Steins Gate, you, you kind of also do that. So yeah, there probably is different routes <laughs> of all the girls. <laughs> Ito threw an empty can at the garbage bin. The garbage can had a lid and only a small hole to throw the cans in. Of course, there's no way he'll get it inside. Uh-oh. We're gonna be using our, our powers too much, and then we're gonna learn that there's some consequences to our powers, you know? With great power comes great responsibility! You know, ghosts just like floating around saying that. Ito looked around the cafeteria as he spoke, making sure no one was too close. Eh? Was this why he'd thrown the can? Oh, okay, positive or negative illusion? Interesting. Um. Well, actually, since we... Well, oh, okay, so there's no negative, though. I can't choose a negative one. All right, it's only positive. Basically, yeah. Since we know that our delusions now can affect the world, actually having these delusions will probably have an effect, you know? Um, in the game, actually. I only have one choice, though. We could choose to not do it, but that's boring. That's boring. 
obviously we're gonna do it. Uh, fortunately, fortunately, it was after school and the cafeteria was just about to close, so there weren't many people in the room. There were a few groups of people who were probably chattering about nothing important, and a few boys and girls intently reading their books. Nobody was paying attention to us. I didn't think anyone would see me and make a fuss, but... Should test it on like a starfighter, you know, in the middle of a swamp, maybe. That was a good point. It would be best to check that stuff. What should I do? Round trigger on. Okay. Oh, interesting. Because usually there's a. Well, I don't know. I can't remember for positive delusions, but for negative delusions, there's tend to be like a red border around, you know, uh, the scene. And I imagine for the positive delusion, there's also another like probably like a blue border. I can't remember exactly. Some kind of border, probably that you know indicates that it's a delusion. But now it's just real life. You know, there's no there's no border or anything. Okay, let's try this. Time to pick up that can. Uh, I stared at the can that Ito had just thrown. I imagine it flying into a little hole in the garbage can. I could see the D sword appear in the corner of my vision. That D sword. I got pretty good at this part. Ne the next part was the hard one. I tried to focus on the image in my mind. Stop. Huh? I was interrupted by a quiet yell from Ito. A quiet yell. Hmm. It's kind of an oxymoron. Surprise, I turned toward Ito and then my mouth flew open with shock. I hadn't seen them because the vending machine was blocking my view, but two girls were walking up to the bench. I saw them in panic and tried to shut down my power. But that was the worst thing I could have done. Oh. Interesting. We can keep using our power. And there's no negative though. It looks like the, the animation makes it seem that we can pick a negative one, but we can't actually. There's only positive. Positive, quote unquote. Save there. Um, uh, sure. Let's keep just keep using our power. You know, it's kind of like this. This is a big train wreck. Let's just keep going. Put more trains into the train wreck. Uh, the coffee can end up heading toward one of the girl's feet instead of the garbage can. She didn't see it coming. There was a chance she might slip on it. If she hurt herself, it would be my fault. What should I do? Should I use my power again to stop it? More! Use it again! Ah! The second I told it to stop, it changed its course as if a giant hand had come down and smashed it from above. It fell to the ground with a huge clatter. The two girls leapt up the, at the sudden noise and then turned toward us. When they did, one of their skirts flew up. Okay, what? Why? As the girl spun, she quickly put her hands on her skirt. And then our eyes met. Okay, just ends up with panty shot. Why is I don't know. I mean, I guess it's just a trope, you know, in anime. Just panty shots, you know, just panty shots forever. That's just a thing forever. You know? But the two of them still glare at me warily, then ran up the stairs. What was that about? Even if it was my fault, I'd save them from danger, well, from yourself, so I mean, it kind of like, you know. From where I was sitting, I couldn't see anything anyway. 
なるほどそうか青だな I guess he could though いやそれよりもだ Ito got to see what was under her skirt and I did it I'm jealous apparently <laughs> and when they turned toward us he looked away with speed that rivaled being a psychic power in its own way and pretended he seen nothing so I was the only one who got branded a pervert amazing Oi, Ito. I was pissed, but for some reason, Ito was looking at me with newfound respect. What? <laughs> okay. Okay, that's fine. Ito suddenly took a, on the air of a scientist, a model scientist, and leaned closer toward me. What the hell was he talking about? As I furled my brow, Serika came down the stair toward us. Another one? Serika nodded hesitantly, then put her coins into the vending machine, hit the button for the drink next to the mountain view, Dr. P. Drink of all intellectuals. Uh, there was a thud as the bottle dropped into the bottom compartment. What are we trying to do? Again, a panty shot from Sarika as well? That's just rude, I feel like. What was that? What was that about, like, you know, great power comes great responsibility? Are we gonna use it for evil right off the bat? I didn't really know what was going on, but I tried to visualize the bottle Serika was reaching for, uh, or rather, what Serika was reaching for, falling to the, to the, bleh, I can't read. I tried to visualize the bottle Serika was reaching for, falling to the floor. And for some reason, I just read that sentence weird. Zawordo. Uh, the D sword was still there in the corner of my eye, and it was easy to send the image into both of their brains. The bottle flew out of Serika's hand, just like I wanted. And it rolled along the floor, just like I had envisioned. This is just me, why are you bullying her? Serika stretched her head out toward the bottle and ran after it. Of course, she was leaning forward. God damn it. We're just fueling his perverted fantasy. Um, we can, like, do it again. I don't know what we're doing. Like, why? We're using like, our powers even more? What, was, was that, what would that do? I don't know. At this point, he's seen the panties. Uh, sure. From where Ito was looking, he could see her perfectly. Just like staring to her butt. I took a, if I took a half step forward, I could probably see it too. But that half step felt very difficult to take. I finally knew what Ito was after, but I couldn't stop the bottle from rolling quickly. Serika was running after it with her hands stretched out and her back toward us. 
I stood up from the bench between I moved between Ito and Seraka. <laughs> Kami-sama. They're gone, and then we bl and then we force choke him to death. No, um, trying to hide Seraka from his gaze, I imagined something else. This time, it was the uh, the bottle coming coming to a dead stop in Seraka's hands. <laughs> I ended up saying something weird, but this time I used my full powers to stop her. But then... Kurusu, <laughs> Harimura, and Kazuki were all coming down the stairs. I became totally distracted. And instead of the bottle coming to a stop, I imagined something entirely different. It was probably because I imagined what Ito had just witnessed, but I ended up thinking about a naughty article I had just read in Cool Cat Press. How to take the girl you want to bed. Tell from her underwear whether she's up for it tonight. <laughs> what was it? Okay. What was the name of the article? Yeah, pick yours too, I guess. I remember saying if the girl is showing you her underwear, of course she's up for it. That what? That huh? But all the girls were in different kinds of underwear. I mean, I guess. I mean, th well, at that point, it'd be obvious, though. <laughs> After taking a moment to appreciate, from an academic standpoint, the variety of underwear on offer, I tried to uh, was started trying to guess what kind of underwear Seraka would pick, or maybe Kurusu. No, don't be stupid. I mean, over mind powers, you can probably just. <laughs> change the color of panties anytime we want, you know? I mean, I mean, technically our power is only like moving things, I guess. But I imagine if we get powerful enough, we can like change reality. We can bend it to our will and do anything. So, I mean, even changing the color of, <laughs> of panties. Anyway. But the more I tried to stop it, the stronger the strange vision became. And suddenly, I heard the sound of my destruction. Yes, we die. Explode. There was a small rustling sound as Adam Mercer's skirt. What's going on? Slowly but surely, uh, slowly but surely and steadily started to rise. What? <gasps> oh, the skirt. Okay, I was, for some reason I think it's the panties. Are you giving her a camel toe? Is what I was thinking, but uh, no, it was a skirt. <laughs> for, I, for, I don't know. For some reason, we were, I thought we were just giving a camel toe to everyone. No, but we're just raising everyone's skirt. It went up past her knee socks and higher and higher. I guess. Yeah. Arumura stood there for a moment in shock, and realized what was going on and grabbed her skirt from above. Uh? Huh? Kurusu and Kazuki were looking at her with wide open eyes. Can I get a negative delusion now? No. Ah, well, <laughs> we've come so far. We can only keep going. I could just stop. But no, never. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, this one, this one. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> this wasn't good. Sarah will probably laugh or give me. Actually, she might not even realize what had happened. But I wouldn't be that lucky with Arumura. Any second now, she was going to realize it was because of my power. I gulped. The Empress, now fully recovered, was standing next to her. If she figured out what I had done, who knew what would happen? I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> Kurus is basically our mom. Always so scared of being like scolded by her. Yeah, it was the wind. It was the wind's fault, not mine. So I didn't do anything. And it's not my fault. Ha! I quickly tried to come up with a new delusion, more delusions, and then transmitted it to everyone's brains. Yes. 
I used my power to softly open a nearby window. And nobody noticed. It worked. It was as if it had been open the whole time. All that was left was for the wind to blow through the window and I should be able to fool them. I come to think of it, this power of mine is amazing. I can do anything. I probably like... Well, I, I mean, I'm trying to think. Any like... Uh, uh, creative things you can do with this power. I mean, a lot of things. I mean, you could like, you know, rob a store. <laughs> you could like do a, a lot of bad things, actually. You could do anything. But obviously, is it that? I mean, I mean, when you think about it, that's that's what l led to a lot of the victims of the new, gener new generation madness killings. Um, people abusing their power to like, you know, get ahead in society. That's how they die, or at least indirectly, maybe somebody's targeting them, you know, because might maybe because they're misusing the power. Hmm? A soft breeze, just strong enough to barely move your hair, rubbed against my cheek. The wind was weak. It was super weak. <laughs> Are you gonna like create a bigger gust of wind? Is that what we're gonna do? Damn it! <laughs> All right. I hate that we're using this power for this dumb reason, but you know what? No one else's skirt, neither Kurusu's, nor Kazuki's, nor Serako's, was moving at all. Aramura alone had been had turned beet red, grabbed the hem of her skirt, and started looking frantically around. The gap between her behavior and how she normally acted was cute enough that I couldn't help but stare, but, uh, but wait, no. There is no physical reason for Aramura's uniform to be the only one to rise up like that. This wasn't gonna fool them at all. I'll blow them away, you know, and then accidentally kill everyone. Good. Could my power maybe cause air to convect? If it could, there was still hope. I could just create the wind. We accidentally create like a tornado and cause a natural disaster. You know, we got we had earthquakes. Now this time, we're gonna accidentally create a tornado and then kill everyone again. Gonna have to build a new Shibuya once more. I came up with a new delusion and hit everyone around me with it. Imagine a strong wind blowing. Imagine the air moving violently, creating a gust of wind. Alright, panty shots. And then suddenly, Kurusu's skirt flew up as well. You know, this, this entire adventure was so we can see panties. We see panties on the waifus. So I guess from the CGs though, we're not really seeing the panties. We just kinda see but a bit of, her, of their asses, but otherwise, no, no panties. Now it was Kazuki's turn, the hem of her skirt suddenly flew up. <laughs> that's... that's funny. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know, I think that's pretty cool, but anyway. <laughs> Next was Serika, then now the Mura's skirt flew up again as well. Yes, it was a success. Amazing. Unlimited power. I ran my fingers through my hair and whispered to myself. I was worried there for a moment, but I just barely managed to. I mean, another soft breeze is just enough to take your eyebrows, brush my cheek. Why is the wind so weak? It's too weak. But I could see the girl's white thighs in front of me. His <laughs> white thighs. And, and a more tantalizing sight above them. Well, well no, as a healthy schoolboy, I would be lying if I said I was a little interested. In fact, I wanted to make sure I got a good look so I could remember it later. Okay. Wait, why do I have to be so honest? I screamed at my power to stop. I asked the wind. Now, of course. The girls were cle clearly suspicious now, and were holding down their skirts with both hands. Well, not Sarika. Sarika's holding with one hand. 
Ito stood up from the bench and started to move backward, afraid, specifically afraid of Kurusu. And to make matters worse, one of the groups of girls that have been talking in the cafeteria was starting to move closer to us. The only option is to flip more skirts. Just flip everyone. <laughs> they probably run out of things to talk about and decided to go home and now they were looking at us in shock. <laughs> Again, more! Let's make it worse. I'm gonna lift them so high up, they're gonna hit the ceiling, and we're gonna accidentally kill them all. I'm just, I don't know, I'm just waiting for that moment where we accidentally use our powers, you know, and hurt somebody. Uh, sure. Let me save, though. Once again. I don't know if it really matters, but, you know, just in case. This was way too suspicious. They might think that the girls were lifting up their skirts to show us. Okay, weird. If that happened, the whole school might think the newspaper club were a bunch of perverts. As I hesitated, I could hear the group of girls start to whisper. Trigger on. I focus my mind to its utmost. I just need the wind to blow the way I want it. The wind blows up their skirts too. <laughs> I can fix this misunderstanding. I can avoid any weird rumors. Of course. Of course this is where it's going. You know that right? I'm just gonna check. I'll just lift up their skirts because I want to see their panties. Wind blows. <laughs> and then, uh, then arrows pointing, skirts lie up. Don't get the order mixed up. Gah. With an explosion of mental force, I sent the vision of my brain to the others. <laughs> that did it, finally. A gust of wind blew through the open window. The girl's hair started to fly up. But then the wind still wasn't strong enough. That was enough to blow up the skirts. I'll add my power to the strength of the wind. <gasps> now those girls' uh, skirts flew up just like Kurusu and the others had. For some reason, the sound was different with the last girl. The girls quickly pressed down on their skirts. <laughs> of course, yes. As I whispered excuses, I saw the girl in the back fidgeting. Oh, well, wasn't that the girl who made a slightly different sound? I don't know, why, why, why is she like important for some reason? It's like as if she's like very plot important. Like she's hint it's hinting that for some reason she's she made a different sound for some other reason? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Weird. The hook on her bra? What the hell kind of wind does that? What's wrong with my power? No, I mean, I did think... I did kind of think she had big boobs, but just a little. Alright. Alright, Takaru. Calm down. I suddenly felt a murderous energy, and then I looked up in shock. My eyes were locked with Kurusu, who was looking down upon me with her arms crossed, and then she killed me, and I died. The end. Edomura and Kazuki had their arms crossed too, and the same cold expressions on their face. Seriko was the only one who didn't seem to know what had happened. She was looking between me and the others, confused. 
伊伊藤，喂，伊藤。I turned around and searched for my best friend, but there was no one there. He has left the building. Instead, I could see a single shadow outside the window, racing away toward the setting sun. Ito. Thirty minutes later. Domo, sorry, I Ito was kneeling on the floor, surrounded by the girls. After thirty minutes of a newspaper club inquisition, no one expects a newspaper club inquisition. It was decided that Ito was at fault. Okay, I mean, no. <laughs> well, we share the blame. I think it's not entirely Ito's fault. I think Takuru, you know, is one of the powers. You know, he should know better. But anyway, I've done some things that weren't very good either. But in the end, I managed to make them understand that there were mistakes. You, you lied to them, obviously. Which is a which is an impressive impressive thing to do when there's a literal lie detector in the form of a twin-tailed blonde anime girl. Ito bowed so low his face touched the ground or the floor. Well, the same thing, I guess. That's right. That's right. Get madder. That's what you get for putting me through that. Ha. だいたい、タクルを変な風に乗せないで。お立てられるとすぐこういうことしちゃうのよ。お調子者だから。そうですよ。宮城先輩って真面目そうな顔して実はエロ妄想全開ですし。え、ちな本とか結構隠してるもん
I think it means like, uh, you know, basically investigating the body after it's been dead for a while, but let me just double check. I think about the different. Oh, the time and call. Okay, that's what it means. Okay, never mind. I was completely wrong. If the death is ruled to be in the abnormal, the death is created, the process ends there. If the death is ruled abnormal, the body is sent to be autopsy. Okay. Oh, okay. So, you always, you always see in movies, but like, you know, when someone dies or whatever in the operating table, you see the doctor look at their watch, you know, and announce their post mortem. Okay, that's what it means. If the cause of death can be determined, the body is then turned over to the family. If the post-mortem examination fall, uh, fails to determine the cause of death, only then does the examiner conduct an autopsy. And if it is judged that the crime was involved, or fur uh, further, more expansive judicial autopsy is conducted. But such an autopsy had already been performed in Watabe Tomaki. Uh, Tomoaki. It was extremely unusual for a second autopsy like this one to be performed. Buddha. Shinjo averted his eyes from the coroner's knife. He'd been to many judicial autopsies, but it was something he'd never gotten used to. He probably never would, he thought. As for the person standing next to the coroner, she was staring at the open skull with the slightest trace of disgust. Okay, so we're like, examining his brain now? I mean, yeah, but the people, people involved with those experiments might have had their brain, you know, touched with or something. Or, I don't know. The, the like, psychics and gigglomaniacs might have even, like, unique brains. Because they can, like, literally bend reality. Yeah, honey. Shinjo's shoulder slumped a little. When he first met her, he'd be unsure of how to handle her, but now he actually felt kind of worried for her. Didn't that get tiring after a while? さっき聞いた話じゃ、死因は間違いなく窒息死ということだったが。窒息だけでこんな風にはならない。ってことはこれまでの被害者と同じってわけか。脳の肥大の原因については何しろ検体が少なすぎる。果たしてこの症状が一
if there's like a bunch of like super powered you know people around and then we gotta like stop them or something reminds me of well reminds me of x-men actually this is a plot for x-men if there was a it was still still test subjects in the hospital though there were things that police could do but when he got down there there wasn't a trace of anything left Kunisato's voice was as cold as ever. Shoko? Too bad. Time to use torture techniques. We must force her to watch the, the anime adaptation of this visual novel. That'll be enough torture for her. Hmm. She's, a, she's a giggle maniac as well? I mean, yeah, she went, through, she went through the experiments, actually. Oh, yeah. I remember when we were going through the computers, she was one of the survivors, actually, that came out, you know, not completely insane. <sighs> Shinjo rubbed his temples, unsure what to say. You know, actually, when you think about it, you know, if she if she is like powerful, if she is like a powerful giggle maniac, um, the, the little girl uh, Yamazoi Uki, I think is her name, that makes her even more dangerous because she's like she, she's just a little kid, right? The potential for danger is even worse because well, when you think about it, children have uh have a, a giant like um what do you how you say it? like they they um they have a big imagination, I guess is what I'm trying to say, you know. So like. For example, again, like monsters in the closet or whatever. She can make that a reality if that's her power, I guess. Or if she's strong enough, maybe. Hmm. Reminds me of a SCP story, actually. Of a, like a, there's a there's like an SCP, you know, story of like um of like a little girl who had those reality men, uh, bending powers and whatever, you know. That's like a similar thing. But anyway, October fifteenth, two thousand fifteen, Thursday. Oh, same thing. Actually, I don't have to read that. It's the same thing. <sighs> Trustworthiness Investigation Corporation Frisia. Momose Katsuko sat in a reception room in the messy corner of her office and sighed as she as she ran her hand through her hair. Hmm. <laughs> No, oh, too bad. Your home is, like, gone now, by the way, so you don't have a home. <laughs> no matter how many questions she asked, or how she tried to get her to talk, that was the only answer she would get. Sometimes she tried asking if there was anything she wanted, or if she felt like eating anything. But the answer was always the same. She hadn't made even the tiniest bit of progress since the girl had arrived. Even the endlessly patient Momose would want to sigh after all that. She still didn't know where this Yamazoi Uki girl was from or how she ended up in that hospital. But from what she has, she, from what has she, from, but from what she'd seen, there was a chance she endured significant abuse, and then she was suddenly rescued from it and taken to a completely different environment. So she must have been very confused. She knew from experience that victims like that needed to be treated very carefully. She kept repeating the same lines like a broken audio player. Momose was starting to think there was time for a different approach. She didn't know what could happen if she told the girl this, so she kept it a secret until now. Once she made a decision, she spent she didn't spend any time on second thoughts. This was both an advantage and a disadvantage. I'll 
not well now i remember what i was trying to say i was trying to say that she had she might have a wild imagination I don't know. anyway it's just a small because like i was trying to think like how what do we usually refer kids you know who always say things that aren't true they have a wild imagination that's what i was trying to say but anyway it's just that if she can't like control her delusions she might do some really bad things and not even realize it this little girl with like special powers i don't know <laughs> Moose was relieved to finally see shock in Uki's face. Relieved? Well, I mean, I guess, you know, make her like say something else instead of the same thing. <laughs> Like Konosato has said, they hadn't done any operations on her that would destroy her ability to experience emotions. Okay, so anyhow, like, you know, Momose obviously refers to Shinjo as a young one because, you know, she's older. Normally, we always, we always think Shinjo is older for some reason. I don't know, I... I Maybe I'm remembering it wrong, but I, I was like, the game always tells me that Shinjo, for example, is like old, you know, I guess from a perspective of a teenager. Anyway. The girl simply listened to Momose speak, her eyes wide. Momose kept talking, watching her carefully. Uh, そこには何もなかったって。あなたがいた部屋の中も空っぽだったそうよ。そ、そんな、じゃあ、皆さんはあそこにいた皆さんは。いなかったそうよ。誰も。誰も。Uki seemed to be trying her best to understand what Momose just said. And then, so Tears start to silently fall from Uki's eyes. Too bad for her, I guess. Haha! Do you think it's a good thing? I don't know. It is pretty sad, you know, because I don't know. I don't. Is she referenced the chaos head? I don't know. I don't know if she was. As far as I know, none of the characters. I mean, it seems. I don't, I don't know for sure, but as far as I know, it seems like none of the characters from Chaos Head uh, is part of the main cast in Chaos Child. So she shouldn't be, you know from chaos head but I mean, she might have been referenced though i don't know but like, i'm trying to think like what's her backstory i mean she's very young and everything like why i don't know maybe, maybe it's just that she's just been brainwashed you know St stockholm syndrome and everything right she was just born in that hospital or whatever and she's been her entire life was just being a caretaker and everything right? as i said before so that's her just that's all she knew so once you take that away from her it's kind of like what's she now you know what's she gonna do she doesn't know what to do anymore but anyway well, we're back home is Takura, though. Dad was as jovial as ever. Without his lab coat, no one would ever believe he was a doctor. You know, you kind of remind me of... They don't look exactly, they don't look the same at all, but like, it kind of reminds me of Hohenheim, you know, from Full Metal Alchemist. I guess because he's like a, a father figure and everything. Well, <laughs> 
In the end, I come back here to Abba dorm because Kurosu had told me to do so at school. I wasn't her slave or anything, but just like she said, it was dangerous to be alone right now. Take this, take this sword. No. Especially when we didn't know who the killer was or what they were after. If someone was nearby, it would be easier to get hold of Shinjo and his allies if I needed to. And I was probably never going to be able to tell this to Kurusu, but the feelings I felt when I left home were starting to disappear. After seeing Kurusu get hurt or try to protect me, a cry for my sake despite being such a strong girl, I started to understand some things that I hadn't known when I'd left. I realized what I was thinking and shook my head. No way. I wasn't like Yuto, who could never seem to get away from his sister. I'm not a siscon. As he lied to himself. Dad didn't get mad when I left or when I come back. Come to think of it, he only said one thing on the day I left. As I went toward my room, Yui appeared. I could see Yuto behind her. <laughs> Yui's face almost broke into a broad smile when she saw me, but quickly forced herself to assume a strict ex expression. <laughs> I apologize without thinking. これからしばらく私たちの当番タクロニーが変わってよね。いい。お、お。タクロニーちゃん、別にいいよ。僕気にしてないから。ダメ。it is. でも、<笑><笑> Yui put her hands on her hips and puffed at her flat chest. Her flat chest? I don't know why that's like. Why do we have this to describe that? But anyway, um, to glare at me, she did look just like Kurusu when she did that. から卓ルニーは勝手なことばっかり。おっと、今度はこっちに飛び火か。で、卓ルニー、もうどこにも行ったりしないんでしょうね。え、いや、その卓ルニーがいなくなってどれだけ野々姉が悲しんでたかわか
あえっとゆゆい<笑> Stop that. Stop crying, little girl. I'm not good with that stuff. I can't handle it when people cry. <laughs> Yui covered her face with her hands and then ran into her room. Yuto followed quickly after her. Dad scratched his head and sighed a little as he saw them go. <laughs> I got away as quickly as I could. <sighs> Alright, well, we're back home. <laughs>